Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. Here we have a rectangular pyramid, side of base 25 mm cross 40 mm, and height 50 mm, resting on the base on HP with one of its longer edges being parallel to VP. And we need to draw the lateral surface of the pyramid when the cutting plane is bisecting its axis and is inclined to HP at 60 degrees and is perpendicular to VP. So now let us see how to draft the solution for this problem statement. So first we shall start off with constructing the XY line of any arbitrary length and the line will be having a thickness of 0.18 mm. So here the question states that the rectangular pyramid is resting on the base on the HP in such a way that one of the longer edges is inclined parallel to the HP. So uh, it is parallel means one of the longer edges is parallel. So that is possible only when the rectangle is resting on one of its shorter edges. So enter the dimension that is longer edges 40 mm while the shorter edges 25 mm. So this is the rectangle. So select this rectangle and move this to an appropriate position below the XY line. So now we'll consider constructing the triangular faces. So just join the diagonals and you get the triangular faces. Now let us complete the front view of this rectangular pyramid. So from the point of intersection, we get a line and that will be the line which is originating the axis and that is seen in the front view. So the axis measures 45 mm. So just select this line and make it a axis line. So use the center line for this. Now let us consider joining the apex of the pyramid to the corner edges. So this is the front view of the rectangular pyramid. So before we move on to the next part, let us consider annotating this. So this is the XY line first, followed by the reference planes that is VP and HP. And then we will annotate the top view of the rectangular pyramid. So the base is uh, annotated first. So this is corner A, corner B, corner C and then corner D. So this is the apex of the pyramid O followed by O1 which is the center point of the base of the pyramid. Coming to the front view this is the apex O dash and this is C dash inside the bracket it is D dash and next we have got B dash and inside the bracket it is A dash. So this is what is the annotation of the front view and this point is O1 dash that is the axis line so O1 dash so now with this we have seen that the pyramid is constructed in such a way that one of the longer edges which is measuring 40 mm is parallel to the vertical plane and the shorter edge is 25 mm and also the axis is equal to 50 mm so now we need to construct the cutting plane so we'll see how the cutting plane is inserted so now let us select the line option again so as per the problem statement it is bisecting the axis so we need to mark the center point of this so i've selected the midpoint option from the interly sketch i've located the center point of this axis line so from here let me draw a cutting plane of thickness 0.13 so from the midpoint draw a line in such a way that it is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal plane use the extend to next option and then extend this cutting plane until it is meeting the base of the pyramid. So go for the distance between option. So the distance between the midpoint and the base is equal to 25. So which is stating that the cutting plane is bisecting the axis of the pyramid. So this is 25 mm. And now let us see the angle. So let me just take a reference line from the center. Let this be a continuous line. It is only to show the inclination. So go for the angle between, select this cutting plane and this reference line and the angle of inclination is 
60 degrees so we'll keep the midpoint off so that the confusions are not there so now we can see that this is the interaction of the cutting plane with the edges that is the slant edges so now as you can see that uh, it is interacting only on the edge that is o dash c dash and d dash whereas o dash a dash and o dash b dash is not interacted but however the base edges that is uh, a d and then uh, b c will be interacted by the cutting plane so for that we can just consider drawing a straight line from the point and then interacting that point with the edges correct so this is the point so first we'll go for uh, b and c so we'll call this point as one and then this point will be one dash here and next we have got the interaction of the cutting plane with respect to the slant edge o dash and c dash and that is the point two so this is two dash here and this is the point two here and also we have got o dash and d dash which is exactly behind this so this is two dash comma three dash so this is point three and similarly uh, we get to see the interaction of this uh, cutting plane on this edge that is ad and that will be four dash and this is four dash or four here so now we'll go for the line option again select a line of thickness 0 0.50 and then highlight the truncated portion of the prism so select the base of the prism until it is interacting with the cutting plane so we can just highlight this also so this is the visible front view of the rectangular pyramid so now coming to the top view 1 to 2 2 to 3 and then 3 to 4 so this is how it is visible for us in the top view so now we need to show the development of this so what we can do is go for the arc by center point so before that we need to observe whether one of the slant edges is parallel to the reference line so none of the slant edges are parallel to the reference line so first let us make one of the edges parallel to the reference line only then we can take the true slant edge so go for the arc by center point measure o to c and then cut an arc to meet this construction line from this point draw a perpendicular and from the end point of this perpendicular join the apex of the pyramid so measure this line so this is the true slant edge and not the one that is o dash and c dash so to have a better clarity this is c1 okay o c1 is the true slant edge and this point will be c1 dash so this is c1 dash so now we'll consider constructing the arc of radii 55.28 so go for again arc by center point from any one arbitrary point sweep a radii of 55.28 mm arc length and then complete the arc so now here we need to be very careful we cannot divide this triangle into equal uh, i mean we cannot have the triangle of equal uh, base edges because it is a rectangle so there are two equal and opposite edges so this ab is equal to dc and then ad is equal to bc so first what we can do is let us join the center of the arc to one end of the arc and keeping this as the reference let us go for arc by center point again so first we will take the short edge because that is the one which is on the left hand side so sweep a radii of length 25 mm and then from this point sweep a radii of dimension 40 mm similarly from the point that is the intersection point sweep a radii of 25 mm and then from here sweep a radii of 40 mm and then cut the arc so now the point of intersection shall be joined with the center of the initial arc and then try joining the 
basis of the pyramid. So use the line option, join it to the end points. So show the dimension of one shorter edge and one longer edge and also the radii of the arc which is equal to the true slant edge. Use the trim option to trim this arcs that were used for construction purpose. So now we'll annotate this initial cut section of the rectangular pyramid. So go for the text option in the annotation menu. So this is the apex O and this is the corner A, corner B. So you have to match this AB, AB is 25. BC, BC is 40 and here also it is 40. Similarly, C2D is 25 again and C2D is 25 here. So next D2A is 40, so D2A is 40. So this is the annotation of the initial cut section of the rectangular pyramid. So now we need to measure this points 1, 4 and uh, 2 and 3. So what we will do is we will transfer all these points. So anyways, there are all on the base lines. So uh, we are not going to consider uh, the construction or the transferring of these points, but we'll transfer 2 and 3. To the slant edge. So now we'll go for the distance between and measure the distance between O and 2 and 3. So this is on OC and OD that is 16.33. So here I'll be drawing a line O C and OD. So here I'll be drawing a line of length 16.33. And again on OD 16.33 mm. So let me just annotate this for the reference. So this is point two, and then this is point three. So now we have got this uh, points that is 4 and 1 on the base edges. So let us measure B to 1, go for the distance between so this is equal to 5.57 and then A to 4 is also equal to 5.57. So what I'll do is I'll consider the point B and I'll measure the point 1 here which is equal to 5.57 mm. So this is a line that has to interact with 2 and then point 3 is here. So now we have to consider the point 4. So for that measure I'll draw a line from point uh, D to 4 this distance or A to 4. So from A to 4, let me consider drawing a line of length 5.57 mm and then join it to the point 3. So this point is 1 and this point is 4. So darken the development using a thick line. So select a line of thickness 0 0.50. So from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and then join the basis of the pyramid. Okay, so since the arc has been cut, fine, so this is the development of the rectangular pyramid. So darken this uh, projection lines, I mean, sorry, the slant edges, that is 2 to 
C and then three to D. So you can just mention development here. So with this, we complete drafting the solution for the given problem statement, wherein we had a rectangular pyramid of base measuring 25 cross 40 and one of the longer edges was parallel to the XY line. And then it is interacted by a cutting plane in such a way that it is bisecting the axis of the pyramid and is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal plane and perpendicular to the VP. So with this, we complete the development of the given problem statement. Thank you all for watching.